This video is brought to you by OTM365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to use InfluxDB with Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for monitoring case leakage, temperature, pressure, and altitude. For this project, you will need Node MCU ESP8266, or you can also use ESP32 Wi-Fi module. You will also need a gaze sensor and BMP180 sensor. If you don't have these sensor, no problem. You can use any other sensor of your choice. As a beginner, you can even use a simple potentiometer as an analog sensor. The reason I selected the BMP180 sensor is because it gives me three values, temperature, pressure, and altitude. This way I can best explain how to send multiple sensors values. For demonstration purposes, I will be sending four values to the InfluxDB IoT platform, three values from the BMP180 sensor and one value from the MQ3 gaze sensor. As usual, before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram, InfluxDB account setup, InfluxDB dashboard designing and ESP8266 programming, First, I'm going to share with you the final test results and afterward, I will explain everything else. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram, which I will explain in a minute. You can see I have powered up the Node MCU ESP8266 development board. Right now, my laptop and ESP8266 controller board are connected to the Wi-Fi. You can use the same Wi-Fi network or different Wi-Fi networks. It doesn't matter in which part of the world you have installed this board. If it's connected to the internet, then with the help of the InfluxDB IoT dashboard, you can monitor all your sensors. Now let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect, and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share, and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description.
Influx DB also gives you full control over how frequently you want to refresh the dashboard. Apart from displaying data on the gauges, you can also display the sensor values on the graphs. Later, I will explain how to add a graph. You can also download the CSV file. As you know, CSV stands for comma separated values. You can open the downloaded file in Microsoft Excel sheet if you want to perform some analysis. InfluxDB is just at another level. There are so many other features. You can write your own script and control things the way you want. In this tutorial, I'm not going to cover how to write script because this tutorial is only for the beginners and I don't want to make things complicated. InfluxDB has also got another cool feature which I believe everyone of you guys is gonna love. It's the alert. InfluxDB has done a great job by adding alert feature. Without it, InfluxDB would have been useless. You don't need to sit in front of the computer screen. You can create alerts. If a sensor value crosses the threshold value, you will be instantly notified and then you can take further steps. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The voltage and ground pins of both the modules are connected with the Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module 3.3V and ground pins. The SCL and SDA pins of the BMP180 sensor are connected with the I2C pins D1 and D2. The analog output pin of the MQ3 gauge sensor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. If you want to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 using your laptop, then there is no need for the 5 volt regulated power supply. But if in case you want to use an external power supply, then you will need this 5 volt regulated power supply. Now let's go ahead and start with the InfluxDB IoT platform. Search for the InfluxDB and click on the first link. Next, click on the Get InfluxDB. Now, to create your free InfluxDB cloud account, simply fill the form or you can use your Google account. In my case, I will continue with Google. Click on the Google Cloud. Enter company name. Check the box and click on the continue button. You will see three different plans. As a beginner, you can start with a free plan. Later, if you want, you can switch to paid plans. For now, I'm going to continue with a free plan. So I will go ahead and click on the key. Click on more. Scroll down and select Arduino. Click on the create bucket, write the name and then click on the create button. The sensor monitoring bucket is created. Scroll down. Now we will need to copy some links from the initialize the client window which we are going to paste in the programming. First, you will need to download this code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Once you have opened this code, then you can start copying and pasting the links. Now we will need to generate the API token. Thank you. 
You can see the token has been generated and is added in the code. Now we will start working on the dashboard. Before you click on the create dashboard button, first you will need to upload the code into the ESP8266. Before you upload the program, first make sure you have installed the InfluxDB library. To install the InfluxDB library, simply click on the sketch menu, then include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the InfluxDB. As you can see, I have already installed the ESP8266 InfluxDB library. Finally, you can click on the upload button, but first make sure you have selected the correct ESP8266 board and the correct communication port. The code has been uploaded and now I can click on the serial monitor. You can see the ESP8266 just send the measurements to the influx DB. If you don't run the ESP8266 then you won't be able to see the measurements in the influx DB. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Now click on the create dashboard and select new dashboard. Enter the name. Click on add cell. Select the bucket. Check the measurements box. Select the field. Select the device. Select the location. Select gauge. And lastly, click on the Submit button. Now click on the Customize button if you want to adjust the minimum and maximum values. Name this cell. Here is our first gauge for the altitude. By following the same steps, you can add multiple gauges and graphs. You can see all four gauges are added. You can change the size and location of the gauges as per your requirement. Finally, our dashboard is ready. Now let's go ahead and practically test it. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.